ask a simple question. I ask you one and all. I ask you this was glory worth it for these young men to die and fall? This war the way to combat evil or does it allow a hell to grow? I don't know, but I hope you do. And their story, you must know. Edward James Tapsell. He was my great uncle. He was born on the 1st of October, 1892, and he died at a horrific death in Belgium during World War I. He joined the Australian Infantry Force on the 28th of February 1916 at Thompson's Paddock in Ogre Barracks. He was placed in the 31st Battalion. He was shipped out on the 18th of August 1916 aboard the Barora and arrived in Plymouth on the 13th of October 1916. On the 17th of November 1916 he proceeded overseas to France, leaving aboard the Princess Victoria. He arrived in Folkestone on the 16th of January 1917 and made his way to Etaple on the 17th of January 1917. On the 7th of February 1917 he joined his unit in the field. On the 19th of March 1917 he was admitted to hospital with trench feet. He rejoined his unit on the 30th of March 1917. The Battle for Polygon Wood On the north side of Ypres, a small village in Belgium, lay a wooded area known as Polygon Wood. It is named such due to its shape. A butt sits in the middle of the wood and this was fought over during the First Battle of Ypres in October-November 1914. From that time it was a German stronghold until the Third Battle of Ypres started on the 26th of September 1917. The 5th Australian Division, including Private Edward James Tapsell and his mates in the 31st Battalion Australian Infantry Force, took part in a vicious, hard-won fight to take the woods back because of the German strong points stalling any advancement. Heavy fighting for the woods took place in September and October, only ending when the men of the Australian Imperial Force finally captured hundreds of pillboxes, machine gun bunkers, forcing the Germans to surrender or retreat. The 31st Battalion moved forward in small groups of men as a creeping barrage of artillery landed just in front of them. This was reported on by photographer and war reporter Charles Bean. He described the opening barrage on 26th of September as the most perfect that ever protected Australian troops and that rolled ahead of the troops roaring like a Gippsland bushfire. The 5th Australian Division had 4,014 killed and wounded from the 26th to the 28th of September, according to Bean. Sadly, my great uncle Edward James Tapsell, Uncle Teddy, died on the 26th of September during this battle. His body was never found, and Uncle Teddy is remembered on the Menengate Memorial. I'm dying in no man's land. Come on lads, saddle up, we've got to ride to Thompson's Paddock. The war has broken out in Europe, so let's get moving, get at it. This war, they say, it's going to be short, three months or so of fights. So let's get going and gain our glory and show Australia's might. Well, that's how I felt a year ago, so full of life and gung-ho. My blood was hot with beautiful dreams, I would win this war with one blow. My mates and I will teach those ones who want to start a fight. Let's see how tough you really are when Aussies stand up for right. If only I'd known back then or seen what lay ahead. I wouldn't be here sad and alone for all my mates are dead. I think back now on what has passed and how each one did die. Tom, he was blown away when a bomb exploded nearby. Young Jimmy, I was talking to when his face it did distort. A sniper's bullet between his eyes had cut his young life short. They all had died in various ways that no man should endure. And now it's my turn to leave this earth, leave the mud, guts and manure. My time has come, I must tell you, my time has come to pass. As I lay here in this mud-filled crater created by a bomb blast, I thought I would be begging for life when I knew it was going to end. But all I feel is peace and love, knowing my spirit will transcend. The maxims those evil dragons of fire had cut me down in stride. Where my legs once were, those powerful limbs only shredded meat resides. A lone tear makes its way down my cheek as I think of my old home, way back there in the Lockyer Valley where my stout strong legs did roam. I think of mum and dad as well, and yes, I think of you, my brothers, sisters, uncles and aunts, from here I bid you adieu. I think of Christmas, birthdays and such when our families it did meet. I remember our drinking my brother Norm, now I tell you, that was a feat. It's strange I think I have no legs, no pain and no regrets. I snuggle down as I ponder this in mud and human bits. 
This mud, it wraps around me like a warm fur coat of mink. I just wish this fellow rotting beside me would do something about his stink. I pray to God, please take me now. I don't want to drown in mud. I look down where my legs once were, transfixed by the flowing blood. It's dark and quiet out here at night. The heavens are massive stars. No noise is made from either camp apart from sporadic gun blasts. It's strange, I think. I feel so bright and yet tired at the same time. I think I might close my eyes for a bit. Yes, yeah, sleep is on my mind. What? Who said that? I heard a voice. It was calling to me. Get down, I scream, you silly bugger, or you'll be dead in this foul sea. I close my eyes and think to myself, I wonder who it was. That voice. Oh yeah, I know it now. It was the voice of my mate Ross. And once more I heard it again, and this time I see them too. It's Ross and Billy, old Tom as well. They have come to take me through. I stand up now in this sticky mud, I glance at my body there. I smile as I walk away, ascending heaven's stairs. I feel so warm, not sad at all. I feel filled with peace and love. Peace I feel inside my heart and love for God above. Now I ask this simple question, I ask you one and all. I ask you this, was glory worth it to die where I did fall? Is war the way to combat evil, or does it allow a hell to grow? I don't know, but I hope you do. And now, I must go. We must always be vigilant, ready to stand against governments who want to drag us into these horrors. We must always remember, lest we forget. I've used these graphic images in this release for just that reason. I want to get the shock value across. I want people to know what war is like. War is not glorious. War does not make heroes. War is horror. War is pain. War is suffering. War is death. Mm -hmm.